We're live in front of the Carnage Hall, which has become a scene of complete chaos. Miss, you are the sole survival of this horrible idea, correct? I... Until now, this combustion theory has been acknowledged only by occult enthusiasts. Please, just leave me alone. This incident happened to take place on Christmas Eve of all nights. I would like to represent the citizen of this in a city and interview exclusively. There's a guy right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, yep, job well done. That's my, I'm done here. I'm done here. My job has been completed. <laughs> oh my god. You got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> Full on decked him. Are you crazy? Jim, did you get this on tape? Screw him, buddy. Daniel. Sorry, I'm late, Aya. Aya, are you okay? That was really something that happened back there. Oh, on my date. Heard from a cop that your boyfriend ran out of there like a wuss. <laughs> yep. Sorry, you didn't. You're sorry. Your date did go well. <coughs> it's not like that. I had him escort me because he kept pestering me for a date. Yeah, but of all places, the opera. There's a story. So why the opera, huh? Is that the end thing right now? Saw the ad in the paper. I don't know. It just caught my eye. Don't tell me you were in on this case. <laughs> so you finally got some cop instinct in you, huh? Instinct? Daniel, shouldn't you be with your son? It's Christmas Eve. He knows his dad's a cop. My boy understands. Anyway, to change the subject, I heard things from people who were there. But this is one hell of an incident, huh? Mitochondria. Mitochondria? Symbiosis? When I was in the hospital. Hey, Aya. You asleep? Ah, oh well. Don't blame you. After what you've been through tonight. Alright. So, we got a new guy in the picture. Daniel. Alright. Oh my god, the clipping. It all started with this incident. Six days that were to become a nightmare for all. Oh my god, hold up. I gotta fix- mm -hmm. Um. Perspective textures. Back. I should fix it up. There we go. People will eventually forget this and go on with their lives. But I will never forget it. It was pure terror, but... It was also six days filled with familiar memories. Oh boy, six days. This, that's a lot. And a very pixelated Statue of Liberty, and a very small one at that, surprisingly. Um... Is my game correct? Okay. Day two, fusion. Save our progress? Yes, we shall do that. And while I'm at it... Okay. While I'm at it, let me... Save our complete progress while we're at it. And we are back. I had to go off and run to the bathroom. And I also needed to make sure that our safe state was completely saved and it doesn't corrupt. So I checked it. Not corrupt. It's saved. 
and all of our memory card saves are still there. So, so far, so good. I got... No, I'm just... I can't. I, <laughs> Let's continue, shall we? Are you okay? You ought to be resting. Wish I could, but I'm the only one who knows what happened last night. I've been gathering some info on Melissa. She's got no relatives and no close friends. She was sick off and always on some sort of medication. The people at the opera said they were amazed she could even stand on the stage. Her apartment burned right after the incident, so we have no info on her medication. So what's this spontaneous combustion stuff all about? It was not actually spontaneous. People were actually being set on fire. Oh, come on! What, like one of those ESP things? That's the best way to describe it for now. ESP, huh? Well, I'm not buying it. And if you are right, how are we supposed to deal with something like that? I believe her. After all, I is the only witness so far. But, if you're gonna take on a suspect like that, you better ask Baker for some better sidearm. I read your report, still hard to believe, but we can't deny all those deaths. We're going to go all out to solve this case, make sure you're well equipped. Go down to the weapons department and they'll give the, this permit to Taurus, he'll help you out. Alright. Alright, save for a quick moment. Uh, da 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 da, hello, hello. Make sure... All right, let's get to it. I just had to move my recorder over so I can see the decibels of both in-game and mic. I'm very attentive to stuff like that, so I keep glancing over every now and then. Excuse me. That's kind of neat. All right, Nyx. I believe you are Nyx. Wow, I okay. You said the same thing you said before. I'm not buying it. Only witness, better sidearm. Alright. Okay, so there's a phone right there if we ever need to save. Uh, open, open. X? Nope. Ah, okay, so we gotta be near the door handle. Um, hold on a second. Let me turn that down just a tad bit. Okay, that's much better. What's in here? Hello! Ah, we got some cops going on. Ooh, this is lighter than the others. Open. Cure P. Cures and prevents poison. I'll take it. Is this, uh, it's lighter than the others? Okay, we might need that late. That might open later then, if that's the case. Hello there. Aya, ah, yeah, you better put on your vest too. Can't be too careful. That's right! I got a new vest! Let's put that on. <laughs> At last it's mine. The cocaine. Why does that say lice? Oh, the riot shields! Okay. That's neat. Oh, hello, fellow cop. How are you today? Weapons department? You didn't hit your head last night, did you? It's right downstairs. Um, what's this door back here? Okay. Um, this looks to be a briefing room, but nothing of interest. Okay. Let's go up here. Hey, buddy. Wanna let me in? Sorry. Only authorized personnel are allowed past here. Well, fuck you too, then. 
All right, I see how it is. Um, let's go back. She said downstairs. So let's go downstairs. Um, you? Authorized person, not only a weapons department. But that's where we're supposed to go, right? Maybe go in here, maybe? <gasps> Jay got the canine unit! I wanna go pet him! You're there. Aww. I just love to watch them. I always come here and relax after my shift. Um, can this open? Hi. Um, that's a food dish. I'm guessing that's a hold hose. Um, journal? Nope, can't read the journal. All right, whatever. See you, puppies. This way. Um, okay. In here. Ooh, crate. Cool. <gasps> Chest over here. Inventory's full. Medicine. Oh, just medicine. Alright. Um, we're fully healed. Anything on the shelf? Spamming X and nothing. All right. Ammo. Hey, they're good looking. Got the crap, Wayne. Where's Taurus? That baldy. Who knows? So it'll be. Shotgun. Rocket launcher. Wayne. Y yes, sir. Idiots like you are the reason why guns won't disappear from this country. Get your ass back to the weapon storage. You're far from ready to be handling guns in here. Okay, okay, sheesh. Why does he look like a downgraded version of Leanne Kennedy? Uh, Wayne, apparently. Torres, I need some better equipment. The last NOS Kate's. Or it was quite a mess. But as long as cops are relying on guns, criminals will too. It's a vicious cycle. I hate to hand a weapon to a young cop like you. But I hear this ain't your ordinary crook. I guess I can't send you off empty-handed. Say, you can't carry any more equipment. Wait! Take some of our things and put them in the storage. Yeah, yeah. You have something to say, officer? N no sir! So why do you want to leave me something here? Uh, leave equipment. Um, we won't be needing this. The no, not discard. No, move. And uh, let me unload this. Put that in that crate. Uh, and mo no, move. Okay. Sort weapons. Um, attack. All right. Yeah, this is the most powerful gun I can allow you to have. Oh, we got us an M16! Only shoots two bullets. It's not a burst? Okay, then. Captain Baker already notified me. Show your modification permit again. Right here, buddy. Which gun? The M16. Add a slot? Yes. Oh, it took off that weird shady thing. Alright, just wait here. <laughs> that sounds like something straight out of like a... Say you like download or buy a pack off of the internet or whatnot and you're scrolling through it's like, Oh, hey, it's a uh, metal. 
metal sound effects. So let's put this in the game as when he's repairing or adding a slot. That's exactly what it sounded like. But just remember, cops own guns for protection, so don't let the gun own you. Fair enough. Psst. Don't tell Taurus, but you can tune up your... But you can use your tool to tune up your guns. You can rearrange equipment parameters and add effects to tweak your equipment. I can show you cool tune the techniques. Oh. Tune up icon. Using the tool item, you can add or remove parameters and added effects to your weapon or armor to create your customized equipment. You can remove added effect yeah, from a you can remove an added effect from a weapon or armor, that equipment will disappear. So basically, if you take one parameter and add it to another, the, the parameter you took off of it will just completely disappear from the gun, and the gun itself will be destroyed. Note to self. The number of added effects you, you know, can be attached to a piece of equipment is determined by the number of slots on that equipment. You can increase the number of slots by getting your equipment modified at the NYPD weapons department. Okay. You got it? Trust me. You can never have too much firepower. Of course, you can't use them without bullets. So you better make sure you always have a club. Just in case, you know. Now, why don't you leave me with some stuff you don't need? Um, items. We don't need the keys for a while, I believe. Um. I'll keep the poison. And let's add these to the M16. Um, item maybe, and offense two. Use the M16. U U M16. Change weapon to the M16. Um, let's unload this gun and give it to him. Um, yes, take this. Take my M1911, please. And that'll be all. Discard junk? No, alright, we don't have any junk. Uh, you. Nice one, alright. Um, let's reorganize our items. Alright. Later, guys. Um, so I guess we go back to Baker then? And the little tune is back. Alrighty. Hello. Hey there. You lost? Uh. Ben? Daddy! So this is Ben? Ben, this is Aya. Now, what are you doing here? Here. Yeah. Tickets? Oh, yeah, the concert. Sorry, son, Dad is real busy today. I promise I'll make up for it. Fine! Ben. Is he in a robe, or is he just in a red jacket and joggers? I guess every kid needs a mother. That's not true. I was raised by my father, too, after my mother died. I'll always be grateful for him. Yeah, well, his mother's still alive. Alrighty, then. Um, can I talk to you again? You met Daniel's son, Ben? Daniel divorced his wife last year. This was before you were signed here. He kept saying every boy needs a father. So he fought for Ben's custody with Lorraine, his ex-wife. Well, he won, but being a cop, I doubt he has time to spend with him. Oh yeah, Captain Baker's was looking for you. Alright. Note to self, he's divorced and he has a kid and doesn't spend time with him. Right down the chalkboard. No, oh, that'd be really fucked up. Alright. Let's see what this Baker guy needs. Sir.
You were looking for me? Yes, we're having a press conference now, and I want you to there too. Me? That's right. You'll be on national television as a sole survivor of that incident. I see. But you'll only answer when I ask you to. The media's just looking for anything to grill us about. They may even turn you into a suspect, so let me do the talking. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay, then let's go meet the press. So you are saying this could be the work of a terrorist? That's what we are currently speculate. How, how about the accounts of officers or firemen at the scene bursting into flames? That was... That was due to a rare and highly flammable chemical which was used to start the fire. Another question. Then how did Detective Brea survive without such much as a minor burn? I can't talk today. That is a result of her quick thinking and training as an officer. I'm asking her the question. She... She said that my mitochondria was a mutation. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Are ya? Your mitochondria. Who said this? Melissa. No, she said... She, she was Eve. But according to a report, Melissa Pierce was killed in the fire. Melissa did die. Her body was taken over by this Eve. What's this Eve? Some side of alien? People, please, please. She's very tired and we are still investigating. That'll be all for today. Ah, yeah. I thought I told you not to say anything. I'm telling the truth, sir. That's not the point! Who's going to believe you? You'll only stir up the media and cause people to panic! Sir, she was only... Baker here. Who? What does he want? I'll put him through. This is Captain Baker. What? Me? You'll have to speak up. Yes. What? Yes. Alright. Some Japanese scientist, I think, couldn't understand his English too well. He was he was raving about some Mito something. He says he's coming over here. Mito? Is it mitochondria? You mean the thing that the cell makes energy from oxygen? You might have heard of that from school somewhere. Biology, to be exact. That's what Eve had said. Or if uh, pre... I don't know. I forget what the class is called, but um, back in like fifth, fifth and sixth grade, maybe seventh, that it's time for the mitochondria to be set free. Hey, I just read that some research out the museum wrote a new theory on them. Sir, I'm taking Naya to go talk to this researcher. Go, bef go. Better get there before the media. It may explain that phone call too. Yes, sir. Come on, Aya. Alrighty then. Uh, let's go save up real quick. Save our progress. Okay. And unused file. Well saved. You there, buddy. I can't remember your name right now off the top of my head. Let's talk to you. Warner. ASP, huh? Well, I'm not buying it. Okay, you said that already. Where's Nix? Nix, are you over here? Nope. Okay. I guess we go to Daniel then. Alright, Daniel. Wait, Nix may have been... Oh, that's right. He's probably still in there. Alright. I'll bring the car around. Meet me at the front. Alright. Uh, door. And Lady Cop is gone. I believe this is the front, seeing where Ben ran out of. 
Hello? Yep, okay. Hey, buddy, you playing Minecraft over there? What a case to have on Christmas, huh? Alrighty then. So we're going to the museum, apparently. Oh, so this is the world map? Museum. We're going to the Museum of Natural History. Dr. Hans Clamp will be there. Dr. Clamp? What's his area of research? Well, according to the papers, he's working on a new theory. Mitochondria something. But it seems to cover the whole genetic spectrum. That's odd. To have a PhD and be working in a museum? Well, he's pretty antisocial and doesn't like to waste time outside of research. Oh, great. We're gonna have a grand time with this one. Yeah, yeah, I know where you're going on with this. Just be careful this time, huh? Are you referring to the press conference? Yeah. Daniel, why do you kiss the chief's butt? You two joined the force at the same time, didn't you? Yeah, but that was years ago. Now he's my boss. Wait! Hold up. Go back to the front? You guys see that right there? That banner on the very front. I need to look at it one more time. It's a chocobo! They put a chocobo easter egg in this game! That's awesome! They put an actual chocobo easter egg in here. And we have pixels. Don't tell me it's corrupting. Or glitch. Okay, it was just loading. It's been a while since I visited the museum. Dinosaur exhibit. Loved these things when I was a kid. Hmm. Looks like it's closed today. Okay, you walk very fast. Well, let's see what that security guard can do for us. You walk very fast, my good man. And we go very slow upstairs, apparently. Alright, whatever. Hey there, how you doing? Doing okay, pretty cold day though. How about yourself? We're with the NYPD. We're looking for Dr. Clamp. Who works here, doesn't he? Sure does. As a matter of fact, he's up in his room right now. Did he do so Did he do something? No, nah, we just want to talk to him, that's all. Thank you. Shouldn't take us long. Place is pretty creepy without any people. Y'all yeah, find him in the research lab on the second floor. He's been pretty busy for the past few weeks. Doesn't come out. Ever. Thanks. Oh, by the way, could you sign in? It's policy. Let's just keep track of who comes in. Thanks, Aya. Gee, Daniel, you sure you, you sure you don't want to run down here and do it yourself? Notebooks on the counter. Thanks. All right. Just my name? Yep, this should be enough. Unless you want to leave your number too. I see what you did there, buddy. Slick. Um. Okay. There's apparently a phone over here we can save that yeah let's save up real quick um let's overwrite the last save because nothing really happened in between other than just a bunch of rambling all right thank you hey Aya over here. It's open. Let's check it out. Alright. 
excuse me. Hello? Hey! Dr. Clamp! Dr. Clamp! Hi, Ariel. We're with the NYPD. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Professor, we're looking for clues concerning the incident which occurred. Are you accusing me? Wait. What's this again? What is this? Another flashback? This man. I know him, I think. Yeah, it's not creepy at all. What's wrong? You okay, Aya? Y yeah. We'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. NYPD, huh? Why are you interested in my work? The suspect mentioned that the mitochondria would be set free. Now, do you? The suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then transferred into some kind of creature and ran off. Since she mentioned mitochondria, we were hoping you could supply us with some info. <laughs> you two have absolutely no idea what true mitochondria is like. Do you? Mitochondria process its own genetic code. Its own? Are you saying it's its own separate organism? Precisely. Kind of like a parasite or something, huh? Parasite? That's an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. We cannot live without the mitochondria, do you understand? The mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we are nothing. We are here because it allows us to be here. Our brain, for example. The brain functions due to the interaction between exons and dendrites. Dendrites. This interaction is possible due to the energy of the mitochondria provides. Did you know the mitochondria is capable of discharging 200,000 volts of electricity? This is not only pertains to electrical discharge, but as well as heat energy. Heat? And the combustions from the last night were... For a human to burn and melt, 600 degrees of heat must be generated. There are several hundred mitochondria pres present within a single cell. If all mitochondria in the body were began functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released. Melting a human into a puddle of fluid would be a simple task with so much energy. So you're saying that mitochondria ignited these people? Professor, you may be right in that we need mitochondria to live. But in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? <laughs> you have no idea. The mitochondria has control over an organism's growth. Take this hand, for example. Before we're born, the hand is merely a glob of flesh. When the cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's when the fingers first form. When the cells which make up the body are needed anymore, it receives a signal to die. This signal initiated by the mitochondria. When it is relayed, the genetic information in the nucleus is cut off and in essence dies. The same can be done for aging. The mitochondria mutates ten times faster than cells. Of course, this applies to mutation forms of mitochondria as well. When too many mutant mitochondria multiply, energy production level decreases. The decrease in energy production and associates with the aging process. So, are you still stupid enough to say that we are the higher species? But you're not saying that the mitochondria is doing this all consciously, right? When I say that the mitochondria could mutate ten times faster than normal cells, I meant they could also evolve at a rate ten times faster. Since the beginning of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at this rate. It's no surprise if they process a power beyond our cognition. No surprise at all. <sighs> Let me tell you something. There was a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. With this, the scientist wanted to establish a connection with human ancestry. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This finding was announced all around the world. In this, the mitochondria theory spread like wildfire. And you know what all this naked root of all this? Mitochondria Eve. Splendid name, just incredible. Eve? 
The suspect that was in yesterday's case called yourself Eve. What? Hey, if you're holding anything back, you better not be hold. If you know anything, you better not be holding back on us. I can't read, apparently. She called herself Eve. Sorry, I told you all I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know the way out. Hey, you better explain what the hell is going on here. <laughs> Me? Hey, we just uh, had got done having a full-on conversation for two and a half hours about something. Oh, um, I should be going back to playing Minecraft now. You know the way out of my room. In a nutshell. <laughs> Daniel, forget it. Let's just go. God damn it. Okay, so that was actually very interesting. It's apparently nighttime, but that was very interesting. And we got loading pixels. What the hell is wrong with that guy? I can't stand him! That man... I've seen him before, but I can't remember where. It's Daniel. What?! Okay, we'll be right there. Uh, it looks like we've got a break in this case. What? We gotta get back to the station, I right, hang on, I'm kicking in this turbo. Oh boy, we got the sirens going off. That's a sign that is either really good or really bad for us. Okay, and more loading pixels, alright. That theory was actually very interesting. It's, it's a bit educational as well. If it even is real, that is. I highly doubt it is, but logically wise, that could actually make sense. The whole place is going on not. Blah. The whole place is going nuts. Wonder what happened. Oh boy, what's on your mind, Daniel? What's going on? Let's go. For Let's go, folks. We're starting in the meeting. Starting a meeting? On what? Melissa's solo concert was scheduled for today. She had disappeared after last night's incident and this concert was cancelled. But people are still gathering at the stage. We must not let another massacre happen. The concert is at Central Park Amphitheater. Amphitheater. Central Park. What is it, Daniel? Been in Lorraine. They're at that concert. What? Daniel, we're not- Screw you, Baker! My son's in danger! Daniel? Ah, yeah. Watch his back. Yes, sir. Mod permit. Alright, um, so we got a permit. So I'm guessing we can add another slot to our gun, so let's go do that real quick. What? Okay, invisible walls. You go that way, I'll go this way. Okay, I believe it was in here again? Yep, it was in here. Alright. When are you gonna let me tune up the guns? I didn't ask to be assigned here to watch over the warehouse all day, you know. As long as you see guns as toys, you'll never touch them. Hey, I know I can make a stronger gun than you. Guns aren't supposed to be stronger, you numbskull. They're supposed to be safer. Fine, you geezard. Hey, the chest refilled. What is this? Hey! Medicine 1. And I'm presuming this is ammo? Sure is. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to make a scene. 
But that goes for you too. You can never make, you can never be too careful with a gun. Do you have a clip modification permit with you? Yes, I do. Which gun? M16, please. All right, just wait here. Cue the sample, everyone. <laughs> All set. But just remember, cops own guns for protection. Don't let the gun own you. Let's keep the tool on us. We never know when we're going to need it. All right. I guess this is where we go after Daniel. All right, let's go get him then. Uh-oh. Yep, his boy's in danger if he's kicking it that hard. The hell does Melissa Eve want from us? Well, it looks like she wants to gather people in one big area. Jerb, that thing's got my boy involved. She's gonna pay for this. Let's hurry. Just hang in there, Ben. I'm coming. I guess this is our cue to go here. Ben! Daniel, stop! I gotta get my boy, rookie. Whoa! Sometimes you gotta look before you leap, old timer. I don't care if I burn. I'll go. Ben's my son. He's the only family I got. Damn it, I can't do anything. Leave it to me. Well, but, but... I'll get him out safe, I promise. Ben needs you. You won't do him any good if you're dead. Alright, I'm counting on you, Aya. I know. There's a safe spot when you need it. I like that. It's that's catchy. All right, let's save up here. Save, 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 please. Thank you. Yep, here we go. All right, guys, let's do this.